Let's sure move to the next one. You're also in the news right now, Governor Lingle. And let me just repeat, we're speaking to Governor Linda Lingle, a Republican of Hawaii. She's an outstanding governor, hugely popular. I know her personally. She is a woman of real humility, uh, total commitment and professionalism. And I would love to see her uh, on a national ticket very, very soon. Um, Governor, let me just ask you about the, the second issue, President Obama's birth certificate. Now, you are expected, and please correct me if I'm mistaken, to sign a bill passed by the legislature that will leave your government agencies alone when it comes to these myriad requests, I think it's like 20 a week, asking to see a copy of President Obama's birth certificate? It's been a, an, an odd situation, Rabbi. You know, during the uh, campaign of 2008, I was actually in the mainland campaigning for Senator McCain, and this issue kept coming up so much in the campaign. And again, I think it's one of those issues that is simply a, a distraction from the more critical issues that are facing the country. And so I had my health director, who is a physician by background, go personally view the birth certificate in the birth records of the Department of Health. And we issued a news release at that time saying that the president was, in fact, born at Kapiolani Hospital in Honolulu, Hawaii. And that's just a fact. And yet people continue to uh, call up and email and want to make it an issue. And I think it's, again, a horrible distraction for the country by those people who continue this. Now, whether or not I sign the bill, again, depends, Rabbi, on how it's worded, because there are people involved in uh, the media and in public policy who who are concerned that it's can be used to deny other kinds of information. And I think it has a, a phrase in there that if someone is a, I think it's some kind of a requester, like a vexatious requester. In other words, they keep asking all the time, but they're worried that that could cut off public access to other documents. So I'll take a look at it when it comes up. The legislature just adjourned on Friday. So, uh, again, I have until July to make a decision on that. Well, there are many issues that I have with the president's agenda, uh, and we've discussed many of them on the air even tonight. So when irrational critics uh, distract this intelligent conversation and, and, and forceful a repudiation of policies that indeed may be injurious to uh, the financial health of the country, uh, the, the security of the country, with this nonsense about his birth certificate that keeps on coming up, I agree that it's a distraction. But you're saying... A governor, that the concern is that if you sign this, it might limit people's access to other forms of public information. It might set a precedent that you could actually, it would, I guess it would be the opposite of, of a Freedom of Information Act. That's correct. It's going backwards it, it, in that sense uh, as it relates to public information and an average citizen's ability to get information that the government might not want them to have for one reason or another. So there is concern on, on how this would be used. But, again, I'll take a, a real good look at it once it comes up. But I feel, as you do, that it is a distraction from the bigger issues of the day. And while, you know, I agree with the president on, on some things, I have some strong disagreements on others, this issue is not one that's important to the country. Again, it's been established. He was born here. I can understand why people want to make certain that the constitutional requirement of being an, you know, a natural born American citizen. I can understand why they feel that's important and it is, but the question has been asked and answered. And I think just we should all move on now. Okay, Governor Linda Lingle of Hawaii in the news for two very big